Think about this. Have you ever packed a suitcase and gone on a trip somewhere? Lift your hands. That's not a lot of fun, packing a suitcase, right? Takes a while too, right? Now imagine those people. They have large families. They have to get all their kids together. They have to take down their tent, pack it away. They have to pack away all their cooking utensils, pack away all their bedding equipment, all their clothes. They have to go find all their animals. They all had animals. They had lots and lots of animals. They had to go find all the animals, put them together, pack everything on their donkeys and horses and whatever have you. And then the cloud is gone and they have to run off the cloud. You got it? Now when the cloud stops, wherever it stops, they stop. They unpack their tent, put it up. They unpack all their cooking utensils, all their bedding, all their clothes. They release all their chickens. They release all their donkeys and all their sheep and goats and whatever have you. And they release their kids. (laughs) And so... You can imagine what that was all like. That was time consuming, right? Okay, now let's read this. Numbers 9, 15. On the day the tabernacle was set up, the cloud covered it. But from evening until morning, the cloud hovered over the tabernacle like a pillar of fire. This is in the Bible now, reading the Bible. This was the regular pattern. At night, the cloud that covered the tabernacle had the appearance of fire. Whenever the cloud lifted from the tab over the tabernacle, whenever the cloud lifted from over the sacred tent, the people of Israel would break camp, pack everything up and follow it. And whenever the cloud settled, the people of Israel would set up camp. In this way, they traveled and camped at the Lord's command. Say, Lord's come on. Wherever the Lord told them to go. Wherever the Lord told them to go. Then they remained in their camp as long as the cloud stayed over the tabernacle. Now, if the, now watch this. If the cloud remained over the tabernacle for a long time, the Israelites stayed and performed their duty to the Lord. Sometimes the cloud would stay over the tabernacle only for only a few days. So the people would stay for only a few days. As the Lord commanded. Say, as the Lord commanded. (laughs) Then the Lord's command, say, at the Lord's command. They would break camp and move on. Sometimes the clouds stayed over the tabernacle overnight and lifted the next morning. Hello? But day or night, when the cloud lifted, the people broke camp and moved on. Where the cloud stayed, where the cloud stayed above the tabernacle for two days, a month or a year, the people of Israel stayed in camp and did not move on. But as soon as it lifted, they broke camp and moved on. 23. So they camped and traveled at the Lord's command. Say, Lord's command. And they did whatever the Lord told them through Moses. All right, so they broke camp, packed up, unpacked thousands of times in 40 years. Hello? That's enough to make a monkey bite its mother. (laughs) But the amazing thing is, the amazing thing is, that not one person was late or decided to sleep in. (laughs) Now, Pastor Evan and I have taken eight tours in our life, seven to Israel, one to America, and we found out it's not all that in a bag of chips (laughs) because people are late, sleep in, miss the bus. Every single time, it's somebody Right? Can you imagine taking a tour for 40 years with 3 million people and not one person misses a bus and not one person sleeps in? 
What will be the reason for that? Let's find out. Why did God make them follow the cloud all over the wilderness for 40 years? Why did He do that? And think about this. It's not like they were looking at new things, you know, <laughs> taking the scenic route. I mean, they're going over the same thing over and over. They traveled, if you study it, let's go back to our map here for a second. They actually traveled this area right here. There. 200 miles that way, 150 miles that way. Or 250 kilometers that way, 200 kilometers that way. That's like halfway, it's like from here to Harry Smith. Imagine traveling around here on Harry Smith for 40 years. You'll know every rock. <laughs> so, why did God do that? There's a mystery here that we have to understand. Let's go to 1 Corinthians 10, 11. These things happen to the Israelites as examples for us. They were written down to warn us who live at the end of the age. Say this, what they experienced, they experienced to teach us a lesson. Now say this, if I don't learn the lesson when I get to heaven, I'm going to have three million people mad at me because they went through all that to teach me something and I didn't learn it. So we better learn it. Are you ready for this? Okay. What are we supposed to learn from this? Here it is. The Father wants to teach us in the new covenant the importance of following the cloud into our inheritance. From the time you get born again and come out of Egypt, out of Satan's kingdom, God begins to guide you by His Spirit from inside to your inheritance. What's your inheritance? Hold up your Bible. Say, in this book is a record of all that Jesus paid for me to enjoy and to share with my neighbor. Thank you for watching Dr. Theo's YouTube channel. We will continue to offer encouraging and life-changing highlights from Dr. Theo's past, present and future series and messages. Please take the time to like and share the videos. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe to the channel.